St. John chapter 15, verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Shalom, all praises, blessings, glories, and honors be unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kodash. The honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad to the elect, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom, and Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shara desire this lesson is edifying. The inspiration for this lesson came from the fact that after the Lord had just allowed me to wake up, he had put this precept into my mind to say out loud. And so I opened up the Bible app and, and came to this particular chapter to this particular precept and this is what it had said these are the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai again it reads St. John chapter 15 verse 22 and this is the spirit this is the spirit if I had not come and spoken unto them and who's the them referring to the Israelites in particular, at that time, the southern kingdom of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. They had not had sin. And what is sin? First John chapter 3, verse 4, it tells us that sin is transgression of the law of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai that were only given unto us, the nation of Israel, according to the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Thus, making us a holy, which means separate, special people unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, according to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin because who is the cloak? Who had became that cloak for our sins? Our Lord Yahweh Shai, through his sacrifice after the will of the Father Yahweh. And therefore, we are no longer justified by the law. which is breaking brings about sin which brings about death for the wages of sin is death St. John chapter 3 verse 16 for Yahweh so loved the world the world of who of what the world of Israel the world of us so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great and abroad. The word, the word world, excuse me, in the Greek is cosmos, which means an orderly arrangement. And that orderly arrangement is the orderly arrangement, the government of the world of Israel. That he gave his only begotten son, or Lord Yahweh HaMashiach, our mediator, our master, the author and finisher of our faith, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And there are certain Israelites that know that there is lights that do not believe in our Lord, Yahweh Shai. 
and therefore they will not be justified they will not be covered by our Lord for their transgressions against the Lord in their past lives and in their present life for Yahweh sent not his son Yahweh Shai our Lord into the world to condemn the world the world of Israel that is but that the world through him through who through our Lord Yahweh Shai might be saved through faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for we are saved by the grace of Yahweh which means favor we are saved by the grace of Yahweh through faith in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach but do we then make void the law through faith? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah forbid. Yea, we establish, rather, we establish the law by doing what? By rehearsing, rehearsing the righteous acts because we will not be able to keep all of the laws in its entirety, in their entirety perfectly for we are in bodies that are what subject to sin romans chapter 8 verse 24 the creature i know what is the creature referring to here us was made subject to vanity. What does the vanity represent? What does it mean? Sin. And so we were made subject, which means under the rule. Sub means under, check means rule. We were made subject under the rule to vanity, to sin, which brings about death. For the wages of sin is death. And we are in these chains of darkness, these bodies of sin, not willingly, not by our will, but by reason of him, of who? Of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who had subjected the same in hope. And as we have been subjected to vanity, to sin, which brings about death, but through faith in Yahweh Shai, after the grace of the fall of the Yahweh, we have a shot at receiving salvation. We have life once again. We are now sons again and daughters and not bastards through the adoption, through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. The Apostle Paul had even said this in the book of Romans, the third chapter. Well, I'll Starting at 20 is good, but there's a point I wanted to read. <laughs> Please bear with me one second as I find the scriptures, Baba Kasha. Okay, Romans chapter 7, verse, I start at, fourteen. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal. Carnal, meaning fleshly. And we are in this flesh subject to vanity, which is sin, not willingly, not because of our own will, but because of the will of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh who had also subjected us likewise in hope to Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our deliverer, sold under sin. For that which I do, I allow not. 
For what I would that do I not. But what I hate that do I. Which proves that the Apostle Paul understood, knew and acknowledged that at times he would go off. Why? Because... He was in the flesh. He was carnal, meaning that he was in the flesh. Soul on the sin. As we are all carnal, we are all in the flesh. Okay? Now, when I say that we are all carnal, I don't mean that, you know, we, we do carnal things as in things that are contrary uh to the law willingly it just simply means that you know we are in fact in the flesh that is subject to sin just wanted to highlight that point because you know Jake might hear that and that, that might be uh, confusing to them or they may say oh that's confusing that was just pretty much to clear and highlight the point as the scripture says right here for we know that the law is spiritual but I am carnal meaning that I'm in the flesh sold understand that's simply all it means and as i am saying for that which i do i allow not for what i would that do i not but what i hate that i that do i so whenever we want to do the right things at times the flesh may have us do otherwise because we are you know subject to vanity If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then, it is no more that I that do it, but sin. See that? But sin that dwelleth in me. And so we all sin. We sin daily. The things that we wear, the mixed fabric, the airy breathe, and even in... The foods we eat, Esau, Edom, are so sick that they put raiments of pork and all these different things in the food. And when you break one law, you break all. For that which I do, I allow not. For that, for what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. So what we hate, that is what this flesh at times causes us to do. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good, and the law is good. But we are not justified by the law. We are rather justified by the grace of the Father through faith in Yahweh Shah Hamashach, who became the ultimate sacrifice for the remission of our sins. And that's why we're going to receive the second covenant in the kingdom. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, and this is the point that I was doing my best to make earlier, Lord is willing you brothers and few sisters that have followed along and are following along, that is, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not, because, again, we are... In the flesh that is subject to vanity. For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. And that is why we rehearse the righteous acts. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of Yahweh Bashmi Yahushah after the inward man. And what is the inward man? The spirit. Because the Apostle Paul understood that being in the flesh uh, would prevent him as it prevents us today. For we are all in the flesh from keeping the laws 100% perfectly. The only man that 
ever did that was our Lord Yahweh Shai when he was on the earth in the flesh. He was the only man that had kept all the laws perfectly. For he had became that sacrifice. But I see another law in my members, worn against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Which is what? The flesh. Because the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these two are contrary one to the other, so they're going to constantly be at war with each other. Our flesh is going to, you know, bring us, as it is written here, Bring me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. The scripture says a physician, a physician cut it off a long disease. What is that disease that we suffer from? Sin. That has dominion over these bodies of death, these bodies of, uh, of vanity. I thank Yahweh too. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yahweh. See, with his mind. After the inward man. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our abilities. But with the flesh, the law <coughs> of sin. Okay. So, let's go back to Romans, the third chapter, and I'll get some other scriptures. Lord's willing. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. In whose sight? In the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Again, what is sin? Transgression of the law. But now the righteousness of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, without the law, is manifested through who? Through Yahweh Shai and through his sacrifice, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Through who? Through Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai embodies the words of Yahweh, for he is the word of Yahweh. Even, which means which is the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by faith. Of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference, for all have sinned, we have all sinned, and we sin daily, and come short of the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, whom Yahweh had sent forth to be a propitiation to faith in his blood. To declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past to the forbearance of Yahweh. To declare, I say, at that time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him. The justifier of him which believeth in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law of works? Nay. But by the law of faith. So, to you niggas out there that boast in the law, you can't boast in the law because you can't and you don't, as we all don't, keep it perfectly. For, you are, for we are not justified by the law, but rather through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, through his sacrifice, after the will, after the grace of the Father Yahweh. But do we then make void the law through faith? No, the most I forbid. Rather, we rehearse re rehearse rehearse what does the word rehearse mean let's find out for edification's sake rehearse to say again repeat to, to recite aloud in a formal manner to present an account of to give rehearsal of to train or make profic proficient by rehearsal. So we rehearse the righteous acts. We train in the in keeping the, the righteous acts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to the best of our abilities, being in these chains of darkness, in the flesh, subject to sin, subject to vanity. 
So how then can a man boast? As the Apostle Paul said, where is room for boasting? There's no room for boasting. Judges 8. Excuse me. What was that? Uh, Judges 5, not 8. 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the orchards of the destruction in the places of drawn waters. Where are the places? The places of drawn water? Here in America. The land of our captivity. There shall they rehearse, rehearse, train in the righteous acts. What are, what are the righteous acts? It's keeping the laws to the best of our abilities. Even though we are not justified by the law, but rather through faith in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Even, which means, which is the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages the, in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord Yahweh go down to the gates. And so we rehearse the righteous acts, brothers and sisters. We cannot keep the laws 100% perfectly. Okay? And we're in fringes with, with the border of blue. The fringes, when we look down at them, According to the law, reminds us that we ought to keep the laws. You're not going off if you wear um, fringes on your garments, um, on your shirt or whatever have you about in your daily lives. But know that you put yourself at risk of being e uh, immediately compartmentalized by these devils. To be easily identified when they start rolling on on us. Scripture says to, to, to uh, be circumspect. You have to walk in wisdom. <laughs> Use wisdom. Don't be over-righteous. Don't be over-righteous, man. Again, you're not going off <laughs> if you wear your fringes on, on your t-shirt or in your, your, your dress, which I know a lot of you sisters, you do that, you know, and you, you know, do so and you go about your business you know to your job whatever the case is and you want the whole world to know you know that, that you're is like cool but consider the times that we're in and use wisdom would it be in your best interest to put yourself you put yourselves out there the scripture says all things are lawful it is lawful not going off but all things are not expedient which means beneficial Remember the Apostle Paul said, what, well, given no offense that the ministry be not blamed because Esau or Edom is looking for anything to link us with. So all these Israelites out here that, you know, they boast of the law and they, you know, boast of the outward appearance and all these, these different things. When the most I starts bringing down judgment, then we'll really see who's who, who's, you know, who's truly for the Lord. And as each a uh, year goes by, <clears throat> the little time that I have in, in, in this truth, I'm beginning to see and understand why and what El Apostle Gabor uh, means when he would always say a lot of Israelites, they have no idea what they're involved in. I'm, I'm seeing that more and more, man. This is not a game. This is, this is deadly serious. Don't you know that back in uh, the Hellenistic period during the Greek Empire, Israelites couldn't um, wear f uh, fringes on these different things. Have you not heard of epispasm? The sore back on of the foreskin because Jakes would, would take part in the Olympic Games. A lot of you don't even know, a lot of you don't, really don't know what you're involved in, man. <laughs> As El Apostle Gabor would say. And I'm seeing that more and more. I'm understanding more and more you know, why he would say it, why he always says that through the spirit. So, reading on, this says, this is Romans chapter 3. You know, I just had to say all that to the spirit. Romans chapter 3, verse 27. Where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. And what is faith? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. 
and without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and the just shall live by faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. So we're not justified by the law, man. But we rehearse the righteous acts. Do we then make void the law through faith? No, the Most High forbid, as it is written. Yea, we establish the law. How? By rehearsing the righteous acts, by doing our best to keep the righteous acts because we are in the flesh. We have been made subject to vanity. <laughs> Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law because no man is perfect. Job chapter 4, verse 17, Shall mortal man be more just? Then the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall a man be more pure than his maker? The answer to that question is no. In Proverbs chapter 20, verse 9, who can say, I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin? Only a man that is perfect without sin can say such a thing. No man, no Israelite man upon the earth is perfect. We all sin. We all need Yahweh Shai. We all need mercy. Isaiah 65 verse 5. Which say, stand by thyself. Come not near to me. For I am holier than thou. So all of you as well as I like to boast in the law. And that do boast in the law. You're in that spirit of those that say, stand by thyself. Come not near me for I am holier than thou. Remember what the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees did to the Israelite foreigners that didn't know that they were Israelites at one point. And after they became aware that they are, are Israelites, Jake in, in the, from the southern kingdom, they got mad. They got pissed off. They was talking shit. They tried to put burdens on men. Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all day. So to those that are in such a spirit, you're a smoke in the most eyes nose. Job 15 verse 14, what is man that he should be clean? Oh, so I, I keep the law all perfectly. No, you don't, nigga. None of us do. Be all sin. What is man that he should be clean? And if you say that you, you if you say that you do, then you're a liar. And the Most High will, will deal with such individual with such an individual, and he which is born of a woman, that he should be righteous, as it is written, Romans chapter three verse ten. There is none righteous, no not one. Upon this earth, that's an Israelite, and that's why. Yahusha had to come on the earth 2,000 years ago to die for the remission of our sins. Beginning with his, for he was Adam. He was Solomon. And then he came back as Yahusha. <laughs> so, it's through Yahusha that we have redemption, brothers and sisters. It's not by the deeds of the law. And the reason why, you know, certain Israelites, they get offended or confused is because they're not taking things um, that are being said with balance. Balance is the key. The Lord said that a false balance is an abomination unto him, but a just weight is his delight. Everything is to be done in balance. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 20 for there is not a man for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not so there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good even the just sin but the just are not justified by the law but rather through Yahweh Shai through his sacrifice after the grace of the father Yahweh that's why King David said, Blessed is a man whom the Most High had not imputed iniquity. 
and the elect of the nation of Israel, they have not been imputed in iniquity because they are the elect. The laws of the of the elect as well as your brothers and few sisters. Romans chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh. And that's why we had to receive the adoption of sons again through Yahweh Shai, through his sacrifice. Isaiah 64, verse 6. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. See? So our righteousness, brothers and sisters, are as filthy rags. We're not perfect. But we strive to be, as our Lord is perfect. So if any is like tries to boast of the law and boast of the law towards you, then you should already know. And don't waste your time debating and arguing with Jake. Because two-thirds, they're going to die. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the ender of his death. A lot of Israelites really believe they are, you know, really believe that they're doing the right thing when in reality, in all actuality, it's 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 uh it's not so. Cause the Mosa has put a strong spread of delusion on them that they can't even see it themselves. This is a very fearful thing. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, for all flesh is as grass. Leaf is a form of grass. And our iniquity which means sin upon sin like the wind have taken us away. So, that's why we need Yahweh Shai, man. So there's no room for boasting. Romans 3 verse 27, where is boasting then? It is excluded by the by what law? Of works? So is boasting, is it, is it excluded by the law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. In who? In to who? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Faith in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. For we are saved by the grace of the Father Yahweh through faith in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Do we then make void the law through faith? The more so forbid. We rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our abilities. And so with that, I pray this lesson was edifying to the Spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Achakudash to the elect because that's all these lessons are for is to edify to edify to edify to edify and so with that I say shalom to the elect